All right. So this is the inking layer. I am going to duplicate this guy out. So we're just going to lock out this one. And this is just so we can always go back to it. I just think it's a great little habit to start doing. Now we are going to start to add on our brushes. So I'm just going to label this one brushes. And you can label it however you want. And this whole idea for the custom brushes is so we can uh, start adding on line variations. So if I click on brushes, basically we're going to go user defined cartoon brushes. Now just, there's been some questions on where do we find the brushes. Uh, again, I will email you the file. You can also check on this channel and it'll say how to install and it will also show you how to create your own. So if you guys want to be doing more colorized lines, uh, it's gonna show you how to do, uh, how to install them and where the colorization mode is for that. So just be aware that that takes, I think it's about a five minute video. So it is a very, very fast process. All right, let's just zoom in. I'm gonna, did I do it again? Did I already, man, that's what happens when you do it early in the morning, guys. Let's just hide you over here. We don't need you anymore. Okay, good, good, good. So what we are looking to do is most of this is pretty clean. We don't have that many extras. So what we are looking to do, especially with the cartoon brushes, is anytime you see a line floating in space, that is where we want it to be tapered. So if it touches another line, that is a good signal that it should be fat where the lines are touching. So let's just use this one as the example. I'm gonna want it fat here, and then I want it tapered and really we just have to bounce back and forth until we find the right brush. Good, and I personally like fat lines. That is my personal preference. You guys can kind of choose which ones you like. So there's gonna be people that like colored lines. Great, you can color them. Uh, that will be in colorization mode. You want all of your lines to say tint. And then you'll be able to get uh, these color guys are going on the fly. If you don't like strokes and you just want to color it as is, these will still play out. So you just basically don't add strokes. Should be pretty obvious at that point. Uh, let's see what that guy. All right, maybe you guys can see this. The edges or the skinny edge is kind of on that one side. I want to tuck that in right over here. And you might be able to say it. I'll just kind of zoom in so you can see what my silly thought process was. If I go here, it's gonna go thick, 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 and sometimes it's gonna get skinnied out. And as long as that edge doesn't show, then you should be okay. Sometimes that edge does show. Okay, I want that to be... I'm just trying to check where that skinny part is. Okay, I'm gonna drop that one down a little bit. Make sure it's selected. And also, as we are adding our brushes, sometimes these lines are off a tiny, tiny bit. And then we can always come back in and clean those up. All right, let's keep it going. Let's do the same thing over here. Actually, take that back. I want fat on both ends on that side. Now, whenever you're doing fat on both ends, just be aware that both of these corners, corner, corner, are being overlapped. So we just don't wanna make sure, and I'll just show you what we would be talking about, is if this was out a little bit, and I can see one of those edges, we don't want that. So just make sure that everything is being nice and covered up. All right, let's keep it going. This is a big, long one. So I want this to be tapered down at the bottom, and it's gonna be fat up at the top. Oh, it's always a good day when you can get it on the first one. All right, that's good. Now I will come back in. We're gonna modify that edge a tiny bit. So notice as we keep moving these anchor points, this point starts modifying. So I just want to make it a little more subtle. That's basically what we're looking at. 
And this is all going to be black, so it's not as big. That's all black, so I don't need to do that one. Let's go fat on both ends. Let's go up a little bit. Okay, good. This one's an easy one. Tapered on both ends. And right now, just so everyone was aware, I'm just going to actually fatten that guy up, is we're just kind of laying down where the brush, just what brushes work for each one, and then we can always come back in and thicken them back up. So I'm just kind of figuring out what brush to use. I'm gonna go fat up here. and So this is gonna actually get overlapped right here. So if I'm squatting, this arm is actually in the front of this back leg. So I'm just gonna say that's gonna go fat. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna try and mirror as best as I can thicknesses on both sides. So notice that little corner, you might be able to see it. So I'm going to tuck that in so we can't see it. Let's go tapered. I'm going to stay tapered. This is all going to go get tucked in. All right, let's just make sure these are both. I want fat on both ends, I think. Good. Let's go fat on both ends. This is mostly going to get covered up by the arm and the foot, but I just want to have it fat. That's fat. Let's just go fat on both ends. That's fine. All right. I want that one to get fatter down at the bottom. just flip those so that's kind of what that one's gonna look like let's do the same over here we're gonna flip them flip them color it white flip them color them white Okay, now really, major little decision, since we started moving this this top line, you might want to shrink this guy up a bit. And just kind of move it. So just be aware of where things are hitting. I definitely don't want that little corner. Okay. Just double check. So I'm zooming out at this point. We will do the cattails, by the way. Uh, we are just double checking this. So this top part of them, this is all going to get blacked out here. So this line isn't going to matter as much. What we are looking to do, though, is just double check that. And I'm on the white arrow, by the way. We're just going to kind of tuck it in here so as we expand we just want to make sure that that doesn't uh, have a funky little edge so all we're doing right now is just kind of double checking are things where we want are they the thickness that we want we're also double checking that all of our lines have kind of those clean edges to them let's just get rid of some of that access so I'm going to go C by the way so for the toes, I just want to make sure everything is pointed. Point, point, point. Looks good. So if it was squared out, that's what I was uh, going back and correcting. All right, guys. Save check. Done with brushes. Done with brushes. Easy peasy. All right. Take that back. I know you guys are going to say, hey, wait a second. All right. So for cattails, I want it to be fat at the bottom, skinny up at the top. We are just going to flip those. Those are going to get silhouetted out. Okay, that was it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So at this point, let's come back to our layers. I do not need my brushes anymore. 
Now I will lock this one out. Let's just duplicate the brushes. So each step, I like personally having them separated. So if I come back a day or two later, control Z no, no longer works and I can always come back and say, hey, I wanna fix this, clean this up. Or if I notice anything, I'm able to do so. Also just be aware if we have classroom students, they only get to work for about 50 minutes at a time. And so they have to save and somebody else might be jumping on the computer and things like that. So that's why it's always good to just have duplicate copies of things. So at this point, we can basically, I say I'm just double checking, see if we can expand. I say we're okay. So we're gonna select using our little circle. That's gonna select everything. I'm just gonna go object expand. I'm gonna just do it again for a safe measure. You might be able to see this line in the back. Usually it's about twice to get all of these strokes expanded. Good, hit okay. At this point, if you wanna change everything to black, just in case. Sometimes our custom brushes aren't exactly black. Okay, so let's just kind of go through this process. It is very, very easy. And usually I skip over this because it is not good, exciting TV. So we're gonna select the shape. I'm gonna go Shift E and any of those overlap lines, that's when I can get rid of that. Shift E, so any type of overlapping that I do not want, I just come in and get rid of it. And just be aware that we don't want it to go too far. And notice that I select the shape first. It does look like you're erasing all of the lines and then and that just pops right on back. So as long as it's hiding and tucked in, then it does not matter. And we will basically get rid of the coloring. So if you notice that some of these colors are a little bit off at this point, no big deal. We can always come back and fix that. Shifty. Okay, we're just doing a little boogie check, just double checking. Double checking. All right, file save. We are flying today, guys. Flying. So this, just so you can kind of still see it. The next step is going to basically expand and we would unite all of our blacks. So if there's anything that you think, hey, I want a color. So if I wanted to say, hey, I want to come back in and I do want colored lines, I could do that at this point in time. So you, if, if your brushes aren't working or aren't um, as black as you would want, you can come back in and do it that way. So that is a option. So I'm gonna do this. Let's grab our blacks. I'm just basically doing the default black for right now. All right, looks good. Now I'm gonna duplicate this one again. Lock it out. And that's just so I can still keep those lines. So if I wanted to come back and change the color, anything like that, I still have that before we have united everything. So I'm gonna basically Let's actually just do it this way. Go magic wand. I'm gonna grab all of the black. So basically everything except our highlights are gonna be selected. Come over to Pathfinder and then unite. Black arrow, just before you guys freak out, arrange, send it back, and then our highlights will pop back out. Okay, and then we should be good to go. All right, that is good. I'm gonna select everything and let's start to, I just wanna fill in kind of the black for right now. I'm gonna go object, live paint make. I'm gonna go K and I'm just basically filling in the black. All right, that looks good. Save, save, save. Okay, so on the next demonstration, that is where we are going to come in and start doing flat color. We are gonna basically do our uh, warp tool for our little cattails here. And then we'll start adding on color, texture, and then our custom gradients. But that was it.
inking is done. I will see you on the color demo.